Ten lepers who have not been with their families for a very long time. Ten lepers who probably some already have children, before or maybe after. Ten lepers who have relatives, who have places to go to, a family to show themselves in front. And they're coming to Jesus and Jesus commands them to go into something called a temple and to see someone, not their uncle, auntie, cousin, grandma, grandpa, father, mother, son, daughter, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. He says, go and show yourself to your priest first. And then when one leper who already was healed comes back to Jesus, Jesus tells him, your faith has made you well. And this is what he says, now you go your way. Whatever you want to go, go. But Jesus doesn't tell them to go where they want to go in the beginning. He tells them to go where he wants them to go. And as they go where he wants them to go, they get cleansed. So then when they can go where they want to go, they can be a blessing to that environment. Because Jesus knows their family does not need a leper. Family needs a father, not a leper. Family needs a father, a mother, not a leper. And Jesus knows that if you don't do what I ask you to do, then you come to your own way. You cannot be beneficial to that. You are not blessed. The first thing you have to do is do what I ask you to do. Because in that process, I am going to do a work inside of you. That then, when you do what you want to do, you will be blessed in it. That's why we give tithe. We first give what God wants. When you give 10%, so then when you do your 90, you can have God's blessing on it. I'd rather have 90% cleansed by God than 100% full of leprosy. And most of us, Jesus tells us, Put me first in your finances. Like, no, 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 you don't understand. I need to go. I need to do this. I have bills. I have car payment. I have this. I have this. I have this. I have this. And we are literally leprosing our finances. And then we don't have time to come back to God. But if you put God first, then you are clean. And Jesus tells you, now you go your way. Do what you want to do. Do what is your dreams. Do what is your goal. I remember the best marriage advice that I had when we were dating still and we went to a marriage seminar with my wife and one pastor who is also a marriage counselor he got up and he said the best thing you can do for your marriage is with your marriage build the kingdom of God and make the kingdom of God the church and the ministry a priority he says God in return will build up your marriage he said if you make a decision to build your marriage first and put church and the kingdom of God second don't expect help from above he said God adds those things to those who seek him first and he said if you don't have time for God to be first you will rarely find time for him to be second